Hey guys, Tim with Defense Mechanisms. Uh, today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about uh, zeros and offset considerations uh, on the long gun laser devices. So um, the internet is a buzz with parallel versus converging zero conversations. And um, what I will tell you is like most of the things uh, <laughs> when it comes to actually training with these weapons is that most of the things people fight about on the internet don't actually matter very much. Um, if you have a parallel zero on your rifle and you know how to fight with it, you know how to shoot it, you know your holds and your offsets, then, then use that. Um, but what I'll say is I have uh, on this mall here, I've always run a converging zero. Uh, it allows me to check the zero of my rifle after I travel without having to, without having to have access to a range. Um, I've always zeroed it at 50 yards. And though that is not uh, perfect, you know, like in the, in, the, in the world of all things perfect, that is not perfect. But what it has done is it has worked for me just fine. Um, I've talked about this before. This is like a 200 and in kind of rifle for me. I use this doing a lot of CQB training. And so in, in that environment with, with that known, 50 yard converging zero has worked great for me. Um, I don't have hold considerations. I don't have offset problems. Um, it's just, it's worked great. So like, I, I tend to think that this is something you just shouldn't overcomplicate. Um, most of us are not doing uh, super accurate fire at distances over 200 yards in the dark with lasers. That's just not what most of us are doing. And so to, to get super, super worried about our zeros and absolute precision, uh, this isn't an absolute precision rifle. I'm not an absolute precision shooter. And so for all the things I do with this rifle, 50 yard converging zero has worked great. Now, with that said, uh, I have been talking recently about some things I'm changing for 23. And one of the things I'm gonna do different in 23 uh, with this rifle is I am gonna use a slightly different zero. Now that's, I'm not gonna go to a parallel zero, um, but I'm gonna go to what I believe is being referred to as an infinity converging zero. So like a converging zero, uh, you line up the laser with the red dot um, but unlike a converging zero, like on my mall that I did at 50 yards, uh, I'm going to do this one in outer space, infinity. Um, I'm going to focus on a star at night or uh, a tree hundreds and hundreds of yards away, right? A very far distance. At that point, I'm going to get my laser on top of my red dot at that extreme distance. And what that will do is everywhere between here <laughs> and there, uh, my laser will, will only be getting closer to my red dot to near to infinity. And so some people will do uh, this zero at about 250 yards and, and say that it works about as good as an infinity zero. And I'm, I'm guessing that that's pretty accurate. Um, it's often, I've often been told that if I was gonna do converging zero at 50, I really should uh, tweak it at 200. And so whether you're doing this infinity zero starting at 250 or you're doing a converging zero at 200, it's the same effectively the same thing. Um, it, if you have a, a fixed distance, you can confirm your zero without firing any rounds. You put your red dot on that distance, is your laser touching your red dot at that distance? And if it is, you're good. Um, the benefit of this infinity converging zero for me is um, that there will always, my zero and my red dot will always be getting closer together as they head off in the distance versus uh, at 50 yards, once I pass 50 yards, my red dot and my laser get farther apart as you head to infinity. And so what this will do is it'll give me just a little bit more uh, accuracy over distance. I don't shoot, again, I'm not using guns like this out past 200 very often, but it will give me a little bit more precise uh, zero. Well, that gives me all the advantage of converging zero. It's easy to set up and it's easy to confirm. So that's something I'm gonna try in 23. Uh, and real quick, let's just talk laser offset. People. Uh, often get frustrated with laser offset because it doesn't match the red dot offset. And um, like anything, training fixes the problem, but I can give you a shortcut that I use. Um, obviously when I present the rifle and I'm running the red dot, I have the rifle in this very vertical orientation to run my red dot. And I train that to, to the point where I get used to where this offset is. I put the, offset, the dot where I need it to be to put the bullets where I need them to go. Um, the laser, however, most lasers have uh, the emitter on the right side of the rifle, which means it's not directly above the barrel at this perfect 12 o'clock orientation. And so I have a hard time mentally with horizontal offset. 
And so to reduce and effectively eliminate horizontal offset, when I'm running my laser, I roll the rifle roughly 45 degrees. It's like 30 degrees probably to get that laser on top of my barrel. And then I don't have to, I don't have to think about horizontal offset anymore. And so then all I have to do is figure out vertical offset. Well, this is another shortcut that I use. It's, it's imperfect, uh, but it's very effective. Is if I know what my hold is on my red dot at a given distance, for my laser, I cut that hold in half. And so now I have my laser rolled into this 12 o'clock position, um, and then I set it half the height that I would set my red dot. If I would put my red dot five inches above the target, I only put my laser two and a half inches above the target. And for the level of precision that I'm looking for out of this, that works great for me. It means I don't have to have tons and tons of training hours on the laser to have perfect memorized zero. I just take a zero I've already memorized and I use a shortcut on it to get the results that I'm looking for. For This will work just fine for the Steve ball A3. It's worked for the last three years uh, with them all. And it allows me to, to do, it's fast and dirty versus uh, complicated, right? When we're, when we're shooting, when we're doing PID, when we're moving around partners, teams, um, we don't want to have to do complicated tasks. And so by having some mental shortcuts, I roll the rifle to get the laser at, at the 12 o'clock over the barrel so I don't have horizontal offset, and then I just use a vertical offset that's half of what my red dot is. That allows me to have very quick and repeatable um, shortcuts that end, up, that end up letting me make really good hits with my laser. Uh, hopefully this stuff will be helpful to you if it's something you guys have struggled with or if you're trying to figure out should you put the time into setting up a parallel zero, uh, should you shoot a converging zero, or maybe should you consider uh, an infinite or 200 plus yard converging zero. Um, hope, hopefully this helps with some of the things you're thinking about. If you guys have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us. Contact at defensemechanisms.com. Check us out on all our social channels. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Did we just one take that son of a bitch? Yeah, we did. Fucking A.